want to be the first explorer to walk on the moon. <gasps> the first? Gorby? Yeah, I'm never first at anything. This will be my first first ever. That deserves a glow stick. Maybe two. How well can you twirl? But, but Gorby, um, something wrong, Chester? Yeah, Gorby won't be the first explorer to walk on the moon. Neil Armstrong was the first astronaut to walk on the moon. He did it many years ago. Gorby's going to be so upset. It's OK, Chester. He's going to find out eventually. It's better just to tell him. He'll understand. Ta-da! Who wants to take a picture of me being first on the moon? Me! Uh, uh, <laughs> me! Huh? Gorby! Lucky! Arriving at the moon. It's kind of hard to miss it, huh? <laughs> Buckle up, Polos. It's time for a moon landing. Now we're here! I'm the first to walk the moon. This is amazing! Yeah! Me next! Yay! Now I'm the first to hop on the moon. Whoa! 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 I'm the first to fall on the moon. Uh, Gorby, there's something I need to tell you. Whoa, whoa! Uh, ah, low gravity. I forgot. Easy peasy. I know. It takes a little getting used to. But it's fun to be this light and floaty. Yes, the moon's gravity is much lower than Earth's. But that's not what I was going to tell you. In fact, why don't I just show you? A flag? How did it get there? Astronauts planted it when they landed here back in 1969. So they were the first explorers to walk on the moon? Not me? <gasps> this is great! I know. It's, huh? Great? How? Because it's giving me a great idea! be the first explorer to walk on the moon. But I am the first polo to walk on the moon. And it's my dream come true to be here with all my friends to enjoy it. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> now, who's the highest jumper on the moon? Go! Chester. It's okay, Lily. It's not your fault. I didn't want to play with blocks anymore anyway. <laughs> Great flying, Willow. That asteroid really stuck up on us, huh? Well, we won't let that happen again. Warning, warning, warning. Asteroid approaching. Oh! Okay, so an asteroid snuck up on us twice. Definitely not a third time. <gasps> See? <laughs> it's okay, everyone. That bump was just another asteroid hitting ours. <laughs> another one? But I thought all the asteroids were super far apart. They are, but sometimes they cross paths. And wham! They break up into smaller pieces. It's been happening for millions of years. It's just what asteroids do. It is, isn't it? Chester, you're rebuilding your toy? I am. Well, what if it breaks again? Oh, it will for sure. But I won't let it bother me because I like playing with blocks. It's what I do. Me too. <gasps> 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 well, I'd 
rather not be surprised by another asteroid again. So I'm buckling up, just in case. Me do, me do. Polos, we are not getting surprised by another asteroid. Uh-oh, Willow, please get us out of here before I say anything else. <laughs> So an asteroid belt isn't what keeps their pants from falling down. <laughs> but maybe asteroid tape will help keep their pieces together. Corby, <laughs> <laughs> that's really silly. Like this. <laughs> I know my vehicles. And these are definitely made by a vehicle. A Martian vehicle driven by a Martian creature. <gasps> But there is no life on Mars that we know of yet. No water, remember? Then what made that? Come on, Polos, let's follow the track. Yeah! Whoa! Here we go, Polos. Following the tracks. Audrey, what's that up ahead? It is the tallest volcano in the solar system, called Olympus Mons. Whoa! Olympus Mons is ginormous! Stop! Look at that! Starting here, the tracks go all over the place. Whatever made them could have gone any direction. Let's get out there and try to see which way they went. Telescope! Telescope! Oh! with the Martian in it. Nope. There is no life, life on, on Mars, Mars that we know, know of yet. yet. But people sent the Mars rover here to explore the surface, take readings, and send the information back to Earth. Wow. <gasps> do I hear happy birthday? What do you know? Years ago, the rover landed here on this day. It's Rover's birthday. <laughs> we didn't find any life on Mars, but we did find the Rover, and that's just as great. Happy birthday, Mars Rover. Happy birthday to you. Hello. You have a birthday cake in your toolbox? Yep, there may not be life on Mars, but there are birthdays. <laughs> <laughs> It was huge. Let's find out. Whoa! We're gaining on it. Woohoo! You know, I think that giant snowball is a comet. Comets are just big balls of ice and dust and rock until they get near the sun. Look, it's changing. Is it melting? It looks like the heat of the sun is setting it on fire. Because the sun's energy heats the comet's ice and gases, it's growing a long tail. Whoa! Whoa! It's the rocks and ice from the comet's tail. Willow, what do I do? Ah! You've got this, Lily. Remember the button I told you not to touch? Well, punch it.
piloting, Lily. Want to head for home? Aye, aye, Captain. It's the comet. Look at that tail. Amazing. But now that we're back, I think I better get to work on those chairs. Yes, please! <laughs> Starting with the seatbelts. 